Namaste. Yoga Steps is here for you today with a sequence, sequence I have just did for myself and because it was so wonderful and felt so energizing in my body, I want to share this sequence with you. It's a rolling sequence, a myofascial release, especially for all the tendons, ligaments, fascias, muscles and for all the energetic pathways along the spine. What you need for this practice is two balls. I have the recovery rounds from red. You could use your tuna balls, two tennis balls, whatever you have the size of tennis balls. And you need a block. So go and grab a block as well and then meet me on your yoga mat. You want to start at the top of your yoga mat. You take your two balls, you lift your hips and the balls are touching on the back right on your sacrum and then just rest here arms to the right and to the left you can have your eyes closed all the time and you just want to sink sink into the balls it's like your back body back, back body is hugging the balls soften relax whenever we move on the balls while we are going our way up towards along the spine i always want you to inhale and exhale and with the exhale you sink down and you shift your body down a little bit and the balls are shifting up a little bit now i was shifting a little bit the balls are just being above the sacrum so my my butt is touching but not resting on the floor right now and you just sink here in don't flare your belly up to the ceiling, soften your belly and just allow your body to sink. We're working with balls, so whenever they, they have an own mind, so sometimes they don't want to roll the way you want them to do. So whenever you have this feeling you need to adjust the balls a little bit so they feel equal on both sides, feel free to do it. Take one more inhale, exhale, you can use your elbows and the feet and you just roll your body down a little bit. The balls are rolling up and now I can bring my buttock on the floor and I bring my arms down again. Here with your feet on the floor, you inhale and exhale, gently lift your buttock off the floor and come back down. You lift your butt off the floor and you come back down. Take one more deep inhale, walk the feet a little bit away and a little bit more up with the balls. And I draw a line from the balls over the side to the front and being beneath my belly button now. Just arms to the right and left. And sometimes you feel that the ball one is a little bit higher, the other is a little bit lower. This is okay, just stay there. But if it bothers you, adjust the balls. Inhale, exhale, relax your belly. Push your feet very gentle, lift up, but keep the weight on the balls. And down. Push your feet, lift up, keep the weight on the balls. And down. Take an inhale and an exhale, walk your feet away and just roll the balls a little bit higher. You want to be on the back of your belly now. Right in the center of your lower back. Relax, relax your front body so the back body can sink and wrap the balls. Really meet the balls like your back body is hugging the balls. Inhale, exhale to sink into the balls and lift your hips up in a very gentle bridge pose. But always be careful, you don't want to lift too far, so you want to keep the weight on the balls. Then you walk your feet a little bit further away. 
we roll a little bit up I'm drawing a line from the balls and just being round about two fingers above the belly button now coming towards the upper part of your lower back sink with your exhalation meet the balls and then inhale and exhale sink your belly keep the weight on the balls lift your hips Exhale down, sink your belly, lift your hips, keep the weight on the balls, and down. Take your elbows, walk the feet a little bit away, and just roll the balls a little bit higher up. So my right one is a little bit lower down so I like to adjust it and then you uh, when you draw a line you're now around about halfway between belly button and sternum on your back in the upper lower back area and you can feel the spine curves in and curves out and you're just starting to get into this area where the spine starts to curve out again and this can feel a little bit more tense can feel your ribs are flaring open a little more sink into the balls here just sink with each exhale breathe a really good way to know if you're in a good position and not too deep is that you still can breathe deeply in and out and then one more time you want to lift the body and come a little bit more up with the balls a little bit down with the body and on a carpet so my yoga mat starts to roll a little bit and when you now draw a line i'm round about in this you know v-shape opening here of the ribs in this upper area solar plexus on the back and this is an area this can be really tight i personally like to sway my legs here a little bit from side to side so I can feel the ball a little bit more on the right side and then a little bit more on the left side. Don't forget to breathe. Sink. Soften your body. And now, again, use your arms and bring the balls a little bit more up. I'm now coming into the lower part just underneath the shoulder plates sometimes when i roll up the balls start to separate a little bit you want to just notice that the ball when you're going up now uh, between the spine and the shoulder blades that the balls remain between the spine and the shoulder blades and it doesn't matter if they're a little bit closer to the spine or a little bit further out to the shoulder blades you will always find a point that's really nice to work on and what I like to do here is a simple movement of the arms, a very relaxed, you know, like a Tai Chi-like movement, swaying my arms up and down. Don't forget to breathe. Come all the way back. And one more time, you want to walk your way all the way down. The balls are rolling up. You can see I'm walking my way to the camera angle. And you're now being right between the shoulder blades. And whew, this is always a spot where I feel a lot of tension. And then you just give yourself a hug. Hug yourself. Relax your arms on your chest. And you can sway your body a little bit from side to side. Gently swaying from side to side. Don't forget to breathe. Soften your belly. And then let it go bring your arms back on the floor and you want to bring the balls a little bit further up so sometimes you don't have the 
Gents, you have to adjust the balls now with your hands. You want to be in the upper part between the shoulder blades. So when you imagine your shoulder blades and there's this upper border, the spine of the scapula, and you just want to be beneath it, just on the inside between shoulder blade and spine. So there, if you, look, if you can feel this midi part here pressing up of your trapezius muscle and it just sink in here. Whew. Breathe. And you can stay here without any movement, but if you like, you can sway your arms up and down. And ooh, and I really can feel when I bring my arms a little bit back, how oh, this gets a little bit more intense. So what you also can do, you just take one arm and then the other arm. Notice if there's a difference between side to side. So any movement that gives you a little bit more sensation in a in a good way, just do it. You can bring the arms a little bit out and back in. You just want to move slow so you really can feel what's happening. And slowly bring the arms down. And now you take your hands and you bring the ball as far up as you can, but the ball is still under your body. Now the balls are a little bit further apart, so I have round about space for three fingers. So when you come down your neck and in this corner here where your neck meets the upper shoulder, and I'm just being here on the back. Sometimes I'm using my feet and I push myself up a little bit so I can push the balls a little bit under the body and into a nice position. And then just relax here. Always take your time to adjust the balls that they're being in a position where you like them. And now you want to walk your feet a little bit closer in. And you push your feet and you lift yourself up in a small bridge pose and all the way down. Soften your belly, push your feet, lift up. And all the way down. I soften my belly, lower back lengthens, I push my feet, I come slowly up. And all the way down. Now you want to bring the balls a little bit out. So from the corner of your neck towards the top of the shoulder, you want to go halfway out above the spine of your scapula. Just find a point round about halfway out. So when I, in my body, this is round about three fingers away from this corner of neck to upper shoulder. And then I'm using my feet and I'm pushing myself up a little bit. So I'm pushing the balls under my body. Now I take the block. Why do I have my block? I lost my block. Here it is. So if you're like me and you have to reach for your block, you have to come down onto the floor and maybe have to position the balls Oopala, one more time. So remember, we have been halfway out from the inner corner of your neck towards the shoulder, around about three fingers away from the inner corner. You really was pushing the balls under and then you take the block here. Maybe this is enough for you. If, but sometimes you there's not a lot of happening when you're being in this position because the shoulder starts to round away from the floor and then you want to lift your hips and you just take the block under your hips and then you feel a little bit more weight towards the balls and then you can play a little bit by lifting the arms you can play a little bit with the position. You may want to adjust a little bit. So really find a yummy spot here. And then you can play, do any free movements with the arm, reaching back, reaching out to the side.
Or maybe just hang out here. Bring the arms back and just hang out here. Allow the arms to hang. And just sway a little bit from side to side. And when you get a feeling you want to change the position of the balls a little bit, a little bit more in, a little bit more out, then do so. Just do first one side and then do the other side. Just change maybe a little bit the position of the balls. Maybe you want to bring the balls closer in, just two fingers away from the inner corner of the neck. And you play around again here a little bit with the arms. I personally really like to bring my arms up. It feels like my ball is snuggling a little bit here into the upper trapezius. And this feels really nice. Stay relaxed here. Just explore and see what the balls can do for you to ease tension. Whatever you do, pause. Take an inhale and an exhale and slowly bring your arms back. Take one ball out. Take the other one out. And mine are really warm now. Stay on the supported bridge pose for a moment. Make sure that the block is right under your sacrum, so the sacrum is in the center of the block. And we'll just end with taking the feet up, the legs up, sinking with the sacrum down into the block. Breathing in and out. Can think about energy is flushing now through your spine all the way from the feet down your legs all the way up your spine and it's pouring out through your shoulders crown of your head so all the energy it just we're loosening up with the balls all the ways can flush out and sure you want to support this process by always drinking enough water. Bend one knee, bend the other knee. One foot on the floor, other foot on the floor. Push your feet, push your shoulders now. Use your glute muscles, lift yourself off the block. Take one hand and take the block out and come all the way down. Straighten your legs for a moment. And check in how you feel. Notice the energy along your spine. Notice the position of your shoulders. And bend one leg. Bend the other leg. Turn to one side. Support your head with your arm. And then come all the way up. And just notice how your spine feels now. Mine feels really full of energy, relaxed and open. My shoulders feel a little bit lighter. I hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Maybe you want to leave a comment. How did you feel? Do you have any questions? Do you have tension anywhere in your body and you want me to make a video for you what you can do with those magic balls to ease the tension in your body? Thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Namaste. Bye, Yogi.